Hidden beneath the quiet deserts of southwestern Utah is a geological giant so massive, so violently powerful, that it eclipses even Yellowstone, the supervolcano the world fears the most. There are no boiling geysers here, no smoking vents, no obvious crater signaling danger. The land appears calm, almost empty, yet scattered across Utah and Nevada are clues that something enormous once tore this region apart. Volcanic rocks hundreds of meters thick, ash deposits spread across entire states, and a chemical fingerprint so uniform and widespread that it defied explanation for decades. Scientists knew the evidence pointed to a single eruption of staggering proportions, but they couldn't find the volcano responsible for it. And that mystery only deepened with every new discovery. How could a supervolcano capable of ejecting more than 30 times the material of Yellowstone remain hidden for so long? Where was the caldera? How could something so large, so explosive, leave no obvious trace on the surface? Only recently did scientists uncover a story more extraordinary than anyone imagined, one that exposes one of the most powerful volcanic events in Earth's history, and forces us to rethink what we truly know about the forces lurking beneath the American West. Today, let's delve into Utah's hidden supervolcano, a giant nearly 30 times bigger than Yellowstone. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. Utah lies at the heart of the Great Basin, one of the most geologically intricate regions on the planet. Today, its landscape is defined by tilted mountain blocks and sprawling valleys created as the crust stretches and pulls apart. But 30 million years ago, this terrain looked entirely different. Beneath it churned colossal magma chambers capable of fueling eruptions far beyond anything seen in modern times. The crust was hotter, weaker, and rapidly expanding, allowing vast reservoirs of magma to accumulate deep underground. Yet nothing about present-day Utah reveals this violent past. Erosion has stripped away much of the original surface. Faulting has shattered once-continuous rock layers, scattering them across enormous distances. Some volcanic deposits lie buried beneath younger sediments. Others have been sculpted into cliffs and canyons, unlike Yellowstone, whose circular caldera leaves an unmistakable scar. Utah's volcanic footprint has been broken and reshaped beyond recognition. That fragmentation is precisely why the region's true volcanic story remained hidden for so long. Across southern Utah, geologists kept encountering thick layers of volcanic rock, inimbrites formed from fast-moving ash flows spread across hundreds of kilometers. Their scale demanded a single massive source, yet no caldera could be found. Scientists knew the region had once been highly volcanic, but the idea that it concealed one of the largest eruptions in Earth's history seemed unthinkable. The rocks hinted at a secret, but it would take decades of careful investigation to uncover the supervolcano hidden beneath. The search for Utah's hidden supervolcano began not with a dramatic discovery, but with quiet confusion. Geologists kept encountering enormous sheets of volcanic rock, thick, uniform, and spread across such vast distances that they challenged every conventional explanation. These ash flow deposits appeared across the deserts of southwestern Utah, such as the Wawa Mountains, the Severe Plateau, and the Needle Range, and extended into Nevada's eastern ranges. No matter where they were found, the chemistry and age were identical, as if a single eruption had blanketed regions separated by hundreds of kilometers. Initially, scientists proposed multiple large calderas, each responsible for a portion of the deposit. But mineral comparisons told a different story. The match was too precise, too consistent. These layers were not the product of several eruptions. They were born from one. The breakthrough came with modern radiometric dating and geochemical fingerprinting, techniques that revealed a clear and astonishing pattern. All signs pointed to a single eruption centered near Utah's Wawa Mountains. Yet this revelation posed an even bigger mystery. An eruption of such magnitude, greater than Toba, larger than Yellowstone, one of the greatest in Earth's history, should have left behind an enormous caldera. Instead, there was none. The Great Basin's tectonic stretching had torn the ancient caldera apart, burying sections under sediments, 
eroding others and scattering its fragments across the region. It took years of reconstruction to trace its true boundaries. When scientists finally did, the result was staggering. They had uncovered one of the most powerful super eruptions ever recorded, hidden in plain sight for millions of years. About 30 million years ago, the ground beneath southwestern Utah began to swell as an immense magma chamber, stretching tens of kilometers across, approached critical pressure. When the crust finally gave way, the result was an eruption so vast and violent that it reshaped the face of North America. The Wawa Springs eruption unleashed 6,000 cubic kilometers of molten rock, ash, and gas. By comparison, Yellowstone's most powerful eruption released around 2,500 cubic kilometers. This eruption was more than twice as large, and nearly 30 times the size of Yellowstone's famous blast. The initial explosion sent a column of ash and gas soaring into the stratosphere, perhaps 50 kilometers high. Pyroclastic flows, dense, fast-moving rivers of superheated material, raced outward across the landscape at hurricane speeds. These flows did not travel a few kilometers, as they do in modern eruptions. They surged across entire states, burying everything in their path beneath hundreds of meters of burning debris. Mountains were leveled, valleys were choked with ash, and daylight vanished beneath a continent-wide volcanic haze. The force of the eruption caused the ground above the magma chamber to collapse into a caldera hundreds of kilometers wide. Over millions of years, tectonic stretching and relentless erosion tore this caldera apart, leaving no single obvious structure to mark the site of the catastrophe. Yet, the aftermath is still written across the region for those who know where to look. Cliffs in the Wawa Mountains are made of welded tuff, ash that once flowed like liquid fire. Thick volcanic layers lie scattered across Utah and Nevada, carved today into red and gray mesas. These formations are the hardened remnants of an eruption that helped shape the Basin and Range Province, turning what now appears to be peaceful desert into a silent monument to ancient volcanic fury. In recent years, new research has revived global interest in Utah's long-hidden supervolcano. With improved mapping, satellite data, and refined geochemical analysis, scientists were finally able to measure the true scale of the Wawa Springs deposits with remarkable precision. What emerged was a startling revelation. Early estimates had vastly underestimated the eruption's size. Later studies confirmed it as one of the most powerful super eruptions ever identified on Earth, far larger than Yellowstone's most famous blast and astonishingly overlooked for decades. This discovery raised unsettling questions. If an eruption of this magnitude could remain concealed for so long, what other volcanic scars might still lie buried beneath North America? And could an event of comparable scale occur again? At first glance, the idea is unsettling. Earth has not finished producing super eruptions. Super volcanoes such as Yellowstone, Long Valley in California, Taupo in New Zealand, and Toba in Indonesia remain active. Super eruptions occur on geological timescales of tens of thousands of years, meaning the planet is not finished producing them. But the crucial scientific truth is clear. The Wawa spring system itself is entirely extinct. Its magma chamber cooled millions of years ago. The tectonic environment that enabled it has vanished, and there are no signs of heat, gases, or uplift beneath the region. This ancient giant cannot awaken. Even so, its discovery carries profound significance. It proves Earth is capable of eruptions far beyond anything humanity has ever witnessed. It shows how easily colossal volcanic systems can be erased by time. And it reminds us that even in a well-studied continent, the planet still hides secrets powerful enough to reshape our understanding of geological history. The rediscovery of Utah's hidden supervolcano reveals a long-buried chapter of Earth's history. It shows that the American West once hosted volcanic events so immense they surpass anything humans have ever witnessed and that even the most catastrophic eruptions can vanish beneath millions of years of erosion and tectonic change, 
leaving only scattered clues behind. Although the Wawa Spring supervolcano poses no threat today, its existence reshapes our understanding of Earth's potential. It raises questions about how many other super eruptions remain undocumented and how many ancient volcanic systems still lie buried beneath deserts, mountains, or oceans. It underscores the need for continued scientific exploration, not just to reconstruct the past, but to better anticipate the future. Ultimately, this hidden giant is a stark reminder of Earth's immense power. If such an eruption happened once in North America, the planet is more than capable of producing another, somewhere, someday.